everyone. Welcome to Ragtime Designers, and this is Rachel Ann Johnson with another quick technique for you. I shared it with my design team last night, and I knew I just had to share it with you guys. I first saw it months ago on Jennifer McGuire, and it is called Floating Frame. Feel free to check it out. Since seeing it on Jennifer McGuire's site, I have seen lots of demonstrators sharing it. So it's time to show you guys. The neat thing about this is after you go to all the trouble to do the floating frame, you're able to make two quick cards. So what happens is you stamp, color, die cut, or punch a handful of images, as many as you need to fill a card front. And then after you arrange them and stick them down with a sheet of press and seal, you run it through your die machine, and in this case I used the stitched rectangles and cut the center out. So earlier today I tried to do this video and it got lost. I was showing how to arrange the flowers, so bear with me. Here are my flowers the way I laid them out earlier. And I pressed them all down with the press and seal and ran it through the big shot. So I'm going to get rid of the trash first. And yes, I can recycle those parts. And then these are the two frames that you end up with. So this one is still stuck to the base paper. So after you run it through the dye machine, you remove it from your base piece of paper and this is what it looks like. They're all stuck to the press and seal. I'm gonna bring up a corner and show you. If I pulled this right now, they would all fall apart. So they're held together by the press and seal and I would sit here and put pop dots all over it. You could also take some fun foam and die cut it with the same framelit that you cut out your original image and use bits and pieces of fun foam to layer it but I do like the pop dots because they don't go all the way to the edge so when you look at it it looks like it's just kind of floating there and it catches light so this one's already done and stuck okay so I would cover that with pop dots this one I already covered with a bunch of pop dots So I'm going to sit here and pull the backs off and show you what happens. And then I see a spot I need to put one more pop dot. You really want to kind of load it up with them. So every individual flower that you put on here needs to be supported and stuck together with a pop dot. And I see one more. Where's my tiny ones? So I'm kind of doing a mix of big ones and little ones. And I can see right now that little stem's gonna run away on me. So yes, it takes just a minute to put all these pop dots on, but the effect is quite dramatic. So let me get these all pulled off. Sorry, I haven't learned how to pause and fast forward yet, so bear with me. Lettering my room with these little pop dots. I'm going to go faster with my nails. So you hear the air conditioner on in the background. Tucson hit the 90s this week. So we're all getting hot. Alright, just a couple more. Hopefully I don't lose this video. Almost there, a couple more. You don't want to miss any. Gonna get 
Get that one. Come on. Hope you all are having an awesome week. Come on. I swear, just a couple more. Statically, little boogers. All right. I think that's about it. And I had to hold it to the light to see if I got them all. All right, I think I got them all. So this is my base paper, I don't need that one. I'm gonna go straight to my card and stick this on my card. Sorry guys, I forgot something. I wanna stick it, this one I'm gonna try framing it in some black this time, but I'm gonna mat this onto a quarter sheet of cardstock. There we go. All right, so now all those pop dots are holding all my flowers on and now it's time to remove the press and seal. Um, last night a couple of people really kind of liked the effect that the press and seal leaves. Um, it's got this kind of homemade paper vellum look to it. Uh, I kind of prefer pulling it off, so here goes. As long as you use a quality paper, such as Stampin' Up's Whisper White, which I did, because I colored in my flowers, the press and seal doesn't really stick to it. If your paper's kind of dry and porous, I have had some trouble. So make sure you're using a quality cardstock. And you just sit here and pull this off. There we go. Check that out. Now all these flowers are on here individually, perfectly cut and lined up. And here's the finished one. I went ahead and put the words in. I even put some yellow fun flock. Can you see? Just on my flower centers. And then this is my second card. This is the part that I removed from the middle of my frame. And I'm just layering it up on some more frames put some ribbon, and then I think I'll set this whole thing on a piece of black as well. So I hope you enjoyed the technique. Give it a try, and happy stamping. We'll see you next time.